Our shoulders are an amazing part of our body. They're both complex and yet highly mobile. We've got that 360 degree range of motion. We can internally and externally rotate, lift and lower, pull out and back in. We have such a wide range of movement with our shoulders. So today we're going to do some exercises to keep that mobility because it's complex because the shoulder actually has no socket, but it has small muscles that come from the shoulder blade and make their way over the shoulder and weave themselves into tendons that hold the rotator cuff. So we wanna make sure that we've got that mobility. So let's do some exercises to keep that. So we're going to sit tall in the chair and just, first of all, just check in with our breath and simply lift the shoulders up towards the ear, keeping everything quiet except the shoulders, let the arms kind of hang down, the hands down to the side and then take the shoulders away and just lift the shoulders up so that the shoulder blades glide up and down the back. So we come up and then back down. Only if we're actually respecting whatever the shoulder is saying, if, if it's easy, then do it. If it's not, be very, very gentle. And then let the shoulders come down and lift up one shoulder and then the other shoulder and take that shoulder down and that shoulder down up and up and then down and down, up and up and down and down. So we're articulating this part of the body and that's what's really important is that we've got the ability to move individual parts separately so that everything can kind of flow together. Now we're going to take the hands and like we're weaving, makes the shoulders come in like an, a turtle rotation and external rotation and internal and external like waves and the back can gently stretch and move forward and open up and move forward and open up and forward just making those movements nice and gentle and then coming and sitting tall placing the hands on the thighs and feeling the shoulders even with those simple moves you can feel a release of any holding or tension. Nice. And then taking the arm up and allowing the hand to come down in anywhere. And you're aiming to get the elbow up towards the ceiling and back. And then we take the other arm up and the hand comes over and it's a gentle guiding towards. We're lifting, we're keeping the spine straight so we're lifting up, yep, and the breath is nice and easy, and relaxing the shoulders and only going as far as feels comfy, and then let the arms come down, relax, and take the other arm up. Place the hand down the back, take the other hand on the elbow, and we're just reaching just a little bit up to whatever degree that shoulder could be totally different, could be more flexible, could be a lot tighter. So honoring whatever is happening in that shoulder. And we're still keeping the spine straight and not trying to slump. And so we're working the arm around the posture. Soft breath. And then coming down letting the arms kind of shake out. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna take the hands and clasp the hands behind the, the, the head in the, where the occiput is. And we're going to lift up. The hands are there more for just a guidance. So we're leaning back and up and opening the shoulders, opening the chest, lifting up a little bit. We're looking up to the sky right, and then rounding the pelvis down and bringing the elbows together and rounding the back and getting a stretch all along the spine and the upper back and the shoulders, bring the elbows in and then moving the pelvis. So now it's coming, coming neutral, lifting up and the arms come open, opening the elbows wide. You'll probably feel a little bit of core here 
activating the core as you look up, taking the elbows open, exhaling down, bringing the arms, elbows in together in the pelvis is going back a little bit, rounding the back and the shoulder blades are down. It's not like you want the shoulders up near the ears. Getting that nice stretch in the back feels so yummy. And then up and one more time, open, open up the chest, open up the armpits and allow the arms, then taking the arms out and letting the hands come down. And <laughs> nice shake, it's a nice shake. Getting any kind of holding in the arms out, shaking the hands, nice movement, taking the shoulders around. <laughs> and then just sitting silently. Hmm. Oh, noticing the sensations and how the prana, that intelligence, that life force is moving through different parts that we've activated. Mm. Wonderful. So I hope you enjoyed just doing simple exercises of like even like that, even creating ones that you like to do, but taking that break so that we keep these wonderful shoulders nice and mobile and strong and or working out any issues that we've got in the shoulders with a real good, easy attitude. So let me know how you feel, or actually how your shoulders feel, and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.